All right, guys, so I'm going to work number six on the suggested problems probability, uh, day two. It reads, a jar contains three red, two blue, and five gumballs. A person is to randomly select a gumball, then, without replacement, select another. A, what is the probability of selecting a red and then a blue gumball? All right, well, this shall be interesting. First thing that I really look at here is because I have... Three reds. I have three red marbles. I have two blue marbles. And I have five green marbles. I have a total of ten marbles. So the first thing I'm going to look at, what's the probability of getting a red marble the first time I draw it? Well, that's going to be three out of ten. What's the probability of getting a blue marble on my first draw? Well, that's going to be 2 out of 10. I'm not going to reduce these because then I'm going to get different denominators, and I'm going to have to end up adding fractions, doing different things. So we're just going to leave it with the same denominator. It makes my life so much easier. And what's the probability of getting a green uh, on my first draw? Well, that's going to be 5 out of 10. Well, on A, it says, what is the probability of... Selecting a red ball and then a, I'm sorry, and then a blue gumball. Well, if I'm looking for the probability of red, long red, and then a blue. I'm, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take the probability of getting it. Red gumball. All right, and then probability of red times the probability of getting a blue when I've already drawn a red. Well, I didn't know the probability of red. I just need to figure out the probability of blue given I have a red. Well, this is our conditional um our conditional probability formula. Um, I'm going to kind of skip the probability A, uh, probability of blue and red, and I'm just going to kind of skip around. So I have to do the probability of red, the probability of blue, but this probability of blue, I have to take one marble away. Because that probability of blue over here, this is if I have 10 marbles. Well, once I take one marble out, I only have nine marbles left, so I have to kind of factor that in. And, of course, I'm going to divide this by my probability of red. All right, when I throw these numbers in here, my probability of red, my probability of red is 3 tenths. times my probability of blue, and when I take one marble away, is going to be 2 ninths all over 3 tenths. Well, if you notice, this and this are the same, so they cancel. So the probability of blue given red is going to be 2 ninths. Well, to find the probability of red and then a blue in that specific order, what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to take my probability of red which is 3 tenths alright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the probability of my red and I'm going to multiply by the probability of blue given red this is going to be 3 tenths times 2 ninths well, let's see, 3 goes into 9 3 times, 2 goes into 10 5 times. This gives me 1 over 15, which is approximately 0 0.067 or 6.7% of the time. All right, now the next one is a little bit more confusing. It's going to be the same idea. Let me go ahead and make a couple copies. Let me copy and get a fresh uh, board here. All right, 
So B here says, what is the probability of getting a green and then a green? So it wants to know, what is the probability of getting a green and then another green? Well, so I'm not going crazy. I'm going to have to denote this as the probability of getting a green the first time and then a green a second time. It's the only way I'm going to be able to do this. So I just keep writing green and green. I'm just going to go cross-eyed. Well, we know the probability of green. Well, this probability of green the first time and the probability of green the second time is really going to be the probability of green the first time times the probability of getting a green the second time given you got a green the first time. So I'm going to have to multiply them together. Well, I already know the probability of getting a green. Well, that's 5 tenths. So this is 5 tenths. I just need to figure this part out. All right, so this is our good old conditional probability. So I'm going to do the probability of drawing a green for the second time after I've already drawn a green. So this is going to give me, let's see, we've got 5 tenths for the probability of green, sub 1, times, now I have already taken one green away and one marble away, so I have to have 4 ninths for my second green, And then I'm going to divide it by the probability of my green the first time. Well, this 5 tenths and this 5 tenths cancels out, so this becomes 4 ninths. Oh! Oh, wait, I am recording. My bad. I didn't think I was recording. All right, so now I need to do the probability of drawing a green the first time and then the probability of drawing a green a second time, given I'm drawn a green the first time. Well, the probability of green the first time is 5 tenths. The probability of green the second time is 4 ninths. This is simply going to come out. Let's see. Let's do some math here. That's going to come in 2, 5, 5. This is going to give me 10 over 45. which is going to give me approximately 0.222 or 22.2% of the time. Uh, pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward problem. It's very much like uh, A, the very first part of it, when you had to figure out what's the probability of drawing a red and then a blue. Um, here, your probability of drawing a green and then a green you just have to find a way to make your notation so you're not going crazy because the first time I worked this on my paper, I had green everywhere and I couldn't figure, keep track of what green was what green. So I had to go to subscript notation. Um, just know that you can do that whenever. Just make whatever, as long as I can follow it, you're going to be fine. It's more important that you can follow it. You're not getting anything mixed up.